here. Well, today I got another gear review for you, and I have the newer 32-inch, uh, which is 80 centimeter octagon softbox. Now, this is an umbrella-style softbox I purchased a while back. I use it quite a lot, and I really do enjoy it. So I thought I'd give you an honest review on it. So let's hop in here and get started. Okay, let's first go over the build quality. It is uh, mostly all nylon with a um, aluminum pole and uh, fiberglass rods. The outer cover is a nice uh, nylon white diffuser, and it's held together in there by uh, Velcro and stuff. Let me pull it out, and I'll actually show you the inside of it. Okay, everyone. Well, I now have the diffuser here. Like I said, it's a nice, you know, nylon material, a good diffuser panel. Uh, it's held in there, like I said, by Velcro and stuff. Sewn on fairly well. It could be sewn in probably a little bit better, so I wouldn't go jerking on it too hard. Uh, although, like I said, if the stitches come out, it's easy to fix. Let me just pitch this over here out of the way for a moment. And let's get in and talk about that softbox construction. Like I said, there is a metal pole uh, for the center. It's an aluminum pole. Now, the framework is actually fiberglass, which is really, really nice. Uh, the actual brackets, the, uh, obviously, are aluminum also that connects the uh, fiberglass to the other rest of the framework. But the fiberglass is really nice because it's actually very structurally uh, sound. And if you bend them, they've got a better chance of uh, springing back or if it's, been, uh, if it's been metal, you know, if you bend it too much, it may just stay bent. So <laughs> that's something to take in consideration. So having the uh, fiberglass is a huge plus. It cuts down weight and makes it actually more a little more durable, in my opinion. Now, the material is a fairly th a thick, it's not hugely thick, uh, nylon. And it's got a nice silvery metallic uh, vinyl coating on the inside. It uh, breaks up light really, do, uh, really nice. Now, for the thickness and stuff, I say it's about perfect because if it was any thicker, it would be just add more weight and it wouldn't add any more dur durability for the most part uh, under most conditions unless you're trying to beat the thing you know, against a brick wall or something. But it's built, like I said, about the right thickness you'd want. You don't, wouldn't want it any thinner and, like I said, any thicker, it would just add more weight. Now, I want to add that this when you buy one of these, it does not come with a bracket. You have to buy your own brackets. Now, I prefer the uh, tri brackets here, like uh, uh, shown in the video here. And this is because, like any other of these uh, umbrella style soft boxes, the way the speed light's set, if you put a single speed light in it, say at the top here, if it shoots up right here, it's going to actually bounce more of the light back down this way. So we have a dark spot at the very top. So if anybody gets these, I really do recommend. Uh, Get the tri bracket and just putting two speed lights on it because one speed on each side it makes sure you get a nice even light spread. Now the issue with a lot of soft boxes is uh, they shoot light outward from like the light source, so you needed two diffuser panels. Now this one does not have a uh, double diffuser panel because you really do not need one. Uh, and that's because when this one shoots into the soft box, the lights then broke up before it comes back out. So the fact that it's only a single diffuser should not worry anyone. If you are really concerned about it, just do what I do. Most speed lights got these little wide angle diffusers. Just pull it out, pop it up. That way you get the most even uh, soft light spread coming from the soft box as possible. Now the bottom down here does have a zipper for the light stand to come up through. Because uh, you want to kind of you know position the center. But it's really nice because you can loosen it. And you can move it backwards or forward. And then you can zip it up to protect any kind of extra light leak. You know, might actually escape from the soft box. But other than that, it's built quite nice. Uh, now, the price of these goes anywhere between uh, $25 to $50. Although, on average, I see them on Amazon all the time, anywhere between $25 and $35. I think at the time of making this video, they're about uh, right at $26. But the prices vary and change day to day, so keep that in mind. If you get them around twenty-five to thirty dollars, they are a huge deal, uh, he, uh, and I do really do recommend them. Now, the only real downside that I have against these is there's no egg crate grid for these. I know some companies do make this almost exact soft box with egg crate grids, and this one does have the wide uh, Velcro to accept an egg crate grid. However, I can't 
find one on Amazon for this. And that really drives me up the wall. But it's not a huge downside. Uh, unless you don't have any other softboxes. I have other softboxes, so it's not a big deal for me. But I do like it enough that I actually purchased a second one just uh, about a month ago that's coming in. So like I said, they are pretty good. I do like these. Uh, enjoy it quite a, uh, quite a lot. Do like using it. Very versatile, very uh, really good light quality. And it's like I said, easy to set up. Now, before I forget anything else, uh, like I said, I talk about a lot about the light quality, but the only real, real way to talk about it is actually show you. So at the end of this video, don't run off, there will be some uh, photos I will put up at the end of the video showing you pictures that I've actually taken using this softbox so you can get an idea of how the, the light quality works with it and decide if you like it or not. But anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, this is just a quick gear review talking about the newer 32-inch uh, Octagon softbox. Like I said, it's umbrella style. Do recommend it. Wonderful for small studios, especially somebody starting out on a budget. This is an awesome buy to get. So, anyway, that's it for this gear review. Don't miss the photos at the end. If you like this video, how about a thumbs up? Thumbs up's always highly appreciated. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, be sure to subscribe. Subscribe's free, it's for you, and let you know when I release more videos. Until next time, everyone, thank you for watching.